Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can improve your battery life. So guys, firstly, there are two ways to do it and one is if you have not rooted your device and the other one is if you have already rooted your device. So let's get started if your device is not rooted. So let's assume that you don't want to root your device and want to improve the battery performance. Firstly, you need to know how your battery is being affected. So you might be using apps like Facebook and WhatsApp, Viber and whatnot, which continuously connect to internet to check to see if you have any new posts or messages or whatnot so because of this your cpu is always active and your battery percentage decreases so for that if you don't want to root your device and if you want a simple solution you can try and install battery guru which is by snapdragon that is qualcomm you can use it on only snapdragon processors so once you open up this is what you'll see for the first time just click accept and say okay and now you can simply swipe and just get started so currently this app is in learning mode so it tries to learn as much as possible about your device and the way you use your device and the currently apps that are installed on this device and the apps that you use so that it can get a clear understanding and optimize your battery for that let's assume that you have gmail app in this device but you don't use your gmail very frequently then in that case this application will reduce the activity of the gmail app so in this way we can improve the battery performance if you have not rooted your device and if you are ready to root your device and if you have already rooted your device there are a lot of things that you can do so if you want to know how to root your device i have already made a video for that so you can look into that i will leave a link to that video in the description area below this video so assuming that you have already rooted your device let me show you what you need to do the first thing that you can do is install the greenify app so once you open it up it will look like this press ok and granted root permissions so as you can see we don't have anything over here it's giving some instructions now we need to add applications to this list so these are some of the apps that are currently installed on this device and the cloud icon on the right side of the screen indicates that this app uses internet. So usually you can select the apps that you want to hibernate or sleep. So these are some instructions. So let me tell you what this app really does. So whenever you open up any app, the application will be started and whenever you leave it, some applications get terminated but some other applications like Facebook and WhatsApp will still run in the background and uh, will get your new posts, messages and everything. So because of that, you will lose battery. So using greenify app what you can do is whenever you come out of any particular application you can simply stop that application and whenever you open that application again that application will be resumed so, so for example you have whatsapp and facebook so whenever you open those apps they will run like a normal app they'll get all your posts and feeds and messages but whenever you leave them or whenever you lock the device they are stopped completely and it will improve your battery life Again, there is a small downside to it as they are stopped. If you get any new messages immediately, you won't get the notifications. So for that, you need to do something else. You need to go to menu and go to experimental features. And you need to check these boxes to provide additional features. So you can simply check this and it will ask you for notification permissions. Enable Greenify, press OK and now go back you can even greenify the system apps that is you can stop the system apps when you are not using them so for that you need to have the donation package that is you need to pay for this app so these are the things that you can use if you have exposed framework installed on your device so i have already installed that so once you check that it is asking you to activate the greenify module and click on this button and it will take you to this section you need to go to the modules and you will see that Greenify is not enabled, simply click on this box and now reboot your device to activate Greenify in Exposed Framework. So once you activate it, you will be able to enable these features and more. So if you do all of that, whenever you get a new notification, simply Google servers will push that notification to your device and the Greenify app will check the notification and open up the app for you and you will be getting the update. So if you are facing any issues with those kind of apps, then you better turn off Greenify for those apps. So to add any apps to this list, Simply press this plus button over here and now select the apps that you want to greenify. I usually greenify Facebook and WhatsApp and some other apps like this and just press this button to add this to the list. And now when I press this button again, all these apps will be hibernated. So guys this is one way to do it you can use greenify app for that so apart from that to improve battery life you can use performance profiles like this if you go into the notification area you'll be able to see the performance 
tile over here currently it is under performance which will eat away the battery or drink away the battery you find comfortable with so just click on it to change it to power saver which will underclock the cpu and thereby save battery or else you can go with balance if you want to have a balanced performance and you can choose performance for if you want to use this device at high performance so this is one way and whenever you are running low on battery you can simply switch to power saver if you are very lazy to do this manually you can use something like tasker to automate it such that whenever your battery is low let's say under 20 percent automatically switch to power saver mode so if you want to know how to do that please let me know so that i can make a video for that so going on in the list we have wake lock detector so as I've said, you can greenify the apps or hibernate the apps using greenify app, but you don't know which apps to greenify or hibernate. So to find out, we have this wake lock detector. It needs root permissions for Android 4.4 and above. If you're using 4.3 and below, it won't ask for root permissions. So what this app basically does is it will run in the background and check to see which are the apps that are continuously bothering the CPU. So it will make a note of all that list and give you this information. And based upon this information, you can hibernate those particular apps. Let's assume you want to greenify the WhatsApp app, then simply click on it and you have a button to greenify, just click on it and you'll be taken to this place and press OK to greenify that app. And guys, on the free version, you cannot greenify system apps. You need to install the pro version for which you have to pay. So another thing, if you're not able to see this performance profile over here simply click this plus button over here and press the plus button again and in this list you will see an option that says performance profile and once you select that you will be able to see this box or tile so in this way you can improve your battery life guys that's it guys thanks for watching the video if you found this video to be helpful give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this